Who's ready for some hot? Hi, everybody. James Sabalski for EA Sports. Some of the best squads on the planet ready to collide on the ice. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Hurricanes win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. And he caught him when he wasn't looking. What a hit. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Picked up along the boards by McCall. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Things starting to get a little physical out there. Play rolls on. Coughs up possession of the puck. The Red Bulls take over on possession. Puck picked up by McCall. Sends it out in front. And that carries off a twig in front of the net. From the right side and up the middle. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Carolina's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Red Bulls gain control of the puck. And here's a cross-corner dump in. It's in the middle of the net. He scores! Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front. Goaltender can't find it. And guess what? It's in the back of the cage. Carolina's finally opened the scoring here in the first. Now let's see how both teams respond, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and I think this is a product of just playing the game differently and having a different mindset. They started the game, they were hesitant, almost as if you're playing just to keep it close and not to lose. You gotta play to win the game, and they've really opened it up in the latter half of this period. Here's a chance to set up now. Feeds it to Bost, and that's stolen by Solani. The Red Bulls are doing a great job of anticipating the play, and that's why the puck is on their stick. They're intercepting pucks all game long. They've got to make good on them. They've got to transfer it, head north, and start cashing in. They've got an on that rush! Oh, what a stop shutting down that rush! Wow! Can't get a hold of that pass. The Red Bulls have it against the wall. Nice zone entry from the left. Sits it to the middle! The whistle and a much needed face off will give them a breather. Late goings of this period. Carolina's up one zip. Matthews has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. And that's deflected off someone in front. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Charge and refresh, and this second period about set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? The Red Bulls set a strong period, James. I really like the first 20 minutes, their effort, their underlying numbers. They have the majority of possession, but they are trailing by one, so they're going to have to have instincts around the net, look to attack, drive, and put it by the tender. Puck is dropped, we're back underway, and he shimmies around him with the puck. Here he is, oh, on the backhand! Scores! They tied it up, and we are back to even! Well, working hard, sticking to the game plan with good habits, and they're back to evens. Well, this is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area, the puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read, and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. 
The Red Bulls have evened things up here in period number two. We got ourselves a new game. Yeah, you love these games that go back and forth, and they've worked hard to get to this point, and now they got the equalizer. Giddy up. Pulls it to the ball. He's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Carolina's rolling now, having taken a one-goal lead here in the second. Oh, well, yeah, they got to be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press now, James, as they seem to have control of the game right now. They can't give any momentum back to their opponent. There's the physical side. Right. To the front! And that carries off a stick with the stop. The Red Bulls get a hold of the puck. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Grabbed along the boards by Marner. Oh, look at this! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Heischer's working it around in the corner. And the puck hops out of the offense and so they'll be forced to regroup. Shot! Here's a shot! And he catches that one with the glove. Carolina's got it in their own zone. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Big hit. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. Just wide. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often. And he just sails in and misses the net. Turns that one away. Carolina's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Right through center and into the offensive zone. And there's the save of the play. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Shot and saved by Kuchetkov. Carolina's got it from the back of their own cage. And serves up a little knock on the play. Pokes the puck away. Here's a shot. Big save right at the end. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. Final frame is underway here. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Red Bulls are looking for the tying goal, and you know that the coach in the intermission would have been telling them to continue with the good habits, continue putting pucks to the net. Listen, they've held possession time. They just have to find a way to convert on it. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. It's 2-1. Lemuse won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Carolina's got... Oh! What a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Foss is going to play it against the half wall. And he comes up with the save. Takes enough, but he's still got the puck. That's intercepted. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Carolina's ready to go on the attack. Moves into the slot. Oh, he got all that. What a save by Koskinen. As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible. And that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. 
More than half the period has expired. Carolina's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Take it along the wall by McCarr. Get it out of there. The Red Bulls get a hold of the puck along the boards. Points got it in the defensive end. Perfectly executed. Check there. Great pressure with the stick. He makes some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Shea. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Kachetov! Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time? You want to take space? Goaltender does it makes the save. Puck scooped up by Ovechkin. And that skips out of the offensive end. Flick feed. Feeds the puck across to Heischer. And it's off the iron. Big save just as time runs out. There's the final horn sounding, putting this baby to rest. Carolina's got the victory tonight, but this was one of those games that looked like it was going to go the other way. Well, it certainly did. I mean, the bulk of the game was in their opponent's hands, but they found a way with the limited shots they did get to really have a high shooting percentage when they buried it. And that's what matters at the end of the day. This has really become one of the real premier party destinations in the hockey landscape, and here's a reason why. Look at the celebration here, Cheryl. And you got to love this. I mean, the fans are there for you while you're playing the game, and you come back out to say thank you to them.